it smells so good. I'm so excited to eat this tonight. Okay, so I have my first cauliflower grilled cheese finished. Hey guys, so I wanted to give you a little update on what's going on today. I've just been hanging out and look at how pretty my Valentine's Day flowers still look. I love flowers. Um, tonight I watched the movie Rio, the one with the little um, macaw bird, the little blue, the little blue bird. Um, it was really cute. I had never seen it before. So while I did that, I colored some pictures. I got these from the video store. So I got this one from Valentine's Day, and this one was from the Peanuts movie. And Arlo and Spot from The Good Dinosaur, which I did not see, so I don't know if they're colored properly. But I'm having a problem with my computer. I guess that's interesting. Michael got me Little Big Planet for the PSP, so I've been enjoying that lately. Another exciting thing that I wanted to show you was that I got some jars. Um, I think I showed you my carrots like a week ago. I was fermenting carrots in this jar so I ordered some new ones I think I may have told you that I ordered jars I've got this one big one with the chalkboard on it and then I have two small ones with the blue lid and I also have this one which is slightly larger with a blue lid but I made some green beans and put that in there. It's got garlic and green beans in it with a salt brine. I'm interested to see how those turn out. Oh, also we had um, pizza for dinner tonight and it was from a place called Blaze Pizza. I don't know if that's, I mean it's new here, so I don't know if it's popular anywhere else, but they had a gluten-free pizza crust, which was really exciting. And I got all kinds of things on mine. I got goat cheese, gorgonzola cheese, um, some fresh mozzarella, a little bacon. I'm looking at the menu. Artichokes, basil, arugula on top. I got, they had a, um, a balsamic glaze that they like drizzled over the top and it was really good. I would definitely get that again, but they had so many options that I would really like to try uh, a different combination next time so that was exciting i feel like i keep turning the camera off and then i remember something else that i want to show you we also got an envelope from michael's mom today and she sent us stickers i was so excited look look how cute these are Rapunzel. So those are mine, and then these ones are Michael's. Star Wars. Thank you very much for the stickers. We really appreciated them, and they made me really, really happy this afternoon when I opened it. Good morning, guys. Today is Saturday, and I wanted to show you what I'm making for breakfast. So I'm working on making banana pancakes. This is just, um, I used three bananas and five eggs and mixed them all together and it's actually turning out pretty well. I'm not usually a very good pancake maker so this is a fairly good success for me. Hi Leo. Such a grumpy fish. I am of course, oh I wanted to tell you something. It has been very nice outside lately except for today it apparently it's really bright out apparently it snowed a little last night i don't think there's any left but it's really cold outside it dropped like 30 degrees overnight so that was a little sad i'm making soup again um but i don't think i've showed you this one yet i'm making 11 bean soup yeah and 
I've made this one quite a few times before, and I really like it. There's not much going on in there. Um, but basically it has a whole bunch of different beans in it. I soaked the beans overnight, and then I rinsed them, and then you put fresh water and boil it with either ham, um, or I used um, chicken sausage. And then it has to go for two to three hours, and it's we're getting there. And then you add either tomatoes or tomato paste, uh, the juice of one lemon, and then a whole big onion chopped. And this is a really big bowl, but I used a couple smaller onions. So, and we like onion, and onion's really good for you. It's really good for your heart. So, that's what we're going to be having for lunch today. Hey guys, so it is Sunday again, and I just put up some Easter decorations this morning I wanted to show you. So I've got this pretty wreath over here. It's just made of felt. And I think it's really cute. And then over here, with our usual lights, we have these little um, Easter eggs. And this wreath that I actually made a few years ago. It's a little faded, but I think it's still cute. Yeah, so today I am going to be working on my... Um, well, let me show you. <clears throat> so today I'm going to be chopping up these cabbages. I've got um, an organic green cabbage and then a purple cabbage here. So I'm going to chop them up and I'm planning on making, um, well, probably mostly sauerkraut with it. Because I showed you my jars um, the other day, and I need to fill them up with something. So that's what I got the cabbages for, and I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, so I've got my cabbage going. I moved it over there. There. Also, to my cabbage, this one, I might do one, like, spicy one, kind of like a kimchi style. Michael and I saw a video on Facebook yesterday, and it was for cauliflower grilled cheese, where you mix the cauliflower and make, like, a bread shape out of it. So, I bought some cauliflower, and I'm going to grate that up now, and we're going to give it a try. So, hopefully it works out, because I'm a little nervous. Okay, so I have my cauliflower mixture all done. It's got, um, well, cauliflower that I chopped up in this thing, um, and then it has salt, pepper, Italian seasoning, and a little bit of olive oil with eggs. Um, I followed the recipe, but we don't have Parmesan, so I just left it out. But it seriously smells so good. It smells so good. I'm so excited to eat this tonight. Okay, so I have my first cauliflower grilled cheese finished. Um, it looks pretty good. Um, I think I might need to eat it with a fork. It might hold together if I picked it up with two hands, but... It tastes like pizza. It's so good. So, this is the second one I have going. I'm having a little bit more trouble with this one. I don't know if it was the heat um, or the oil or lack thereof in the pan. But I'm having a little bit more trouble getting this one to kind of stay together. So, that's the update on that. And then we are having soup with this. We have the, um, it's 11 bean soup that I made yesterday. So. That is the update on dinner, and it tastes so good. I don't even care that I have to eat it with a fork. Look at how good that looks, you guys. So good. 